Chrissy H and I'm back with another story time video. So y'all should already know what to do at this point. Grab your bonnets, grab your side chicks, grab your do-rag, grab your PJs, grab your cup of tea, and let's get all with the mother story time. And you guys are probably wondering why we have a llama. And I bought, actually bought this for her on her 18th birthday. So I guess it symbolizes our friendship. Even though I come in here and so it's on the floor, I, I guess it symbolizes our friendship. I cannot go to sleep. It's the size of a okay. baby. I can't go to sleep with it in my bed. So don't get her pregnant. That's the conclusion of this. No, please don't. Please do not ever do that. So I want to do this story time because I feel like... You know, she's my best friend. You guys see you guys see her on my channel, on my social media. So you guys might as well know the origin of how we started. So you gotta know how bad she did me no, in this story was, time. Where I'm at it. So this story time starts at camp. That's where we met. <laughs> And we're gonna call this camp, Camp Baby Kid. Let's give a background on this camp. This what? camp is a five dollar camp. They put you on a bus at the crack of dawn in the summer times. You go across a bridge on this isolated mm -hmm. island, all these ratchet children. Uh -huh. Your parents ship you away because they had to go to work. It's really traumatizing. I was sent to this camp because my big sister said, because I always tell my big sister I did nothing in the summer, so she thought it was a good idea. <laughs> you played yourself. To, to like, you know, have me get out there. So I really didn't think it was gonna be Camp Baby Kid. Like, that's where all the black parents dropped their kids off and did not want to deal with them in the summer for five dollars. Yeah. I came home tired and pissed. And dark and... And they gave nasty food. And they were savages about it though. Cause you know, we're there all day like you gotta eat. We met at Camp Baby Kid. Yeah! And here we are five years oh. later still strong. Yeah. So... We went to Camp Baby Kid. I didn't know anybody there. I only knew one person there, and I'm gonna call her Casper because people literally called that because his skin was so white. But she was pretty though. Well, I only knew Casper because she went to my middle school before I went to our school, which was 7 through 12. And she was the only person I know. Keep that in mind. You're in a camp full of baby kids everywhere. You only know one person. What are you going okay, to camp like, for? What are you going to camp for to make friends? Did to you meet new so, people? So did you make friends there? No. Because <laughs> okay. I don't roll with baby kids. Exactly. I do not roll with baby kids. She but you're a baby, baby kid. kid. You're a baby Typical. kid. So you should have You're a baby kid. kid. The whole camp was divided into five groups. They were named after five black houses in the area, which made sense. Asper happened to be in Renesa's. Group. group. So I went to see Casper. I only talked to Casper at the beginning of camp before I made any friends. So I had to go to Renee's table to talk to Casper and the table was crowded. I'll give her that because no one and so we were in a big cafeteria. A big like hall, right? It's long tables of each of each lighthouse. There's five lighthouses and it's just rows and rows of tables. And they're like picnic tables, so there's like seats. So, Renee's table was at the far end, and my table was like two tables in front of her. But my point was, I would always talk to Casper, so I would always be at her table. Mind you, like I said, this table was full of kids, so why did she only come at me? Reason. What, what, was reason. 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 what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What? But here's the thing. Why? It's already you guys crowded. Hear, it's already you crowded. guys hear that the table was full. So why does she only come at because me that, out of the hundreds like, of baby kids yeah. that were there? It's she like only picks on me. Because they were supposed this. to be at my table. It was so packed. Maybe you Someone should. was not supposed to be there besides no, my me. my group was but big she only, she only came at me. No, my group was big. Like, we couldn't fit at the table as a group is what I'm saying. Okay. So why are you there? Okay. Why are you there? You guys know the problem. The table was packed. 
Mind you, I did not sit at the table. I did not sit at the ledge. I stood up. If there was space for me to stand no, at a wasn't. hole. Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. There was space for me to stand there and talk. I wasn't sitting. I wasn't making it more crowded because I wasn't sitting with you guys. I was standing in my own space. She came at me. She was like, Oh my gosh, okay. you're talking to me because I know you're about to do the squeaky little. friends you know how like most people try to pretend that they're trying to like calm that crazy friend down but they're actually low-key laughing like I mean, they want you to entertain them them whole not my friends it's coming at me and i was just standing there i didn't say nothing i didn't say thing when i was 12 years old Two, I was not a baby and kid. I, I did not deserve yes, to be were. in that camp. I was not a okay, ratchet. I was, no. I was shy. I was quiet. That's why I cried. So why would you come at me? It's even a thing. if you weren't a baby kid, you're Which guilty by affiliation. Mm -hmm. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Only talked to Casper at that time before yeah, I started. No, I'm not lying. Crazy. How am I lying? You didn't talk to people in your group. She was the only person you I talked to. Talk to people in your group. That's why I didn't talk to your table you every day. day. You were with them That's all day. That's why you did not talk to them. If I talked to them, I wouldn't be at your table. You, you wouldn't have to be out. You were alone with them. Okay, so I wasn't. Talking. Started crying, and I put my head down. Like I literally didn't have no one to talk to. I put my head down, and then she comes to me <laughs> like. That's so sad. It probably wasn't even her. That like I probably shouldn't have gone off on her. But the thing is, you don't understand, I, that cat was really prison. She was just the straw that broke the camel's back. I was just trying to eat my food in peace with all, all these heifers at my table. Now it's her table. Yeah, it's my table. <laughs> it is my table. I <laughs> own the camp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah I can't baby kids. <laughs> You know why yes, talk can't be the kids. I must have apologized or something. The thing is, I saw her cry and I'm like... This whole is really crying. At first, I'm like, is she serious? Like, this is a joke, right? Like, I'm kind of laughing to myself. Like, she can't be serious. And then she's still sitting there, like, two minutes later. Right? I'm not about to get in trouble for making her cry. I have to go and apologize to save my own self. Here's the thing. Here's my little message, okay? If you hurt, you ain't nobody has the right to tell you you don't deserve to be hurt. If, if you hurt, you hurt. That's it. If they hurt you, it might be dramatic to them, but you hurt at the end of the day. So it's like she you might be sensitive or whatever. That's how I strongly believe. If you hurt me, you can't. You don't deserve to tell me I don't deserve to be hurt. Like that's just me. Certain things is not that serious. Like it's not that serious. So she came to me and apologized. I was like, ooh. say ooh. I was just like, no, okay. You know when you do something bad, do you have to go apologize so the kid don't snitch on you? Like. <laughs> Exactly, but that's how I was just like That's horrible Like I couldn't just say, like I'm not gonna try to Like I wasn't gonna be like, oh it's okay after you just made me cry Fast friends. forward Yeah, how did we become friends? Because Fast it's like forward, eighth you know. grade It was some math class And I see this trick sitting in front of me from camp Yeah, so it's like I thought like it was fake because we didn't, we weren't friends from camp. We actually just ended up in the same school. Sitting which was next crazy. To each other. That was the most awkward period I've yeah, ever had. No, because it's just seriously. Because like, I feel like there was time in between. Like, I didn't even know she went to my school. Yeah, and we I'm did like, not know. Yeah, like, know and then she's sitting in front of me, and I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to deal with her for the rest of the year. I would have to turn around and pass yeah. the and papers she, back. And she's like, so awkward. Because she would be trying not to look at me. Like, Say, ooh. There was yeah. another boy there, and he kind of talked to both of us, and I really feel like that's how we ended up talking. Yeah. Because he was just like talking He's nonsense. amazing. He's great. Yeah. This is just a very toxic, it, unhealthy it like, relationship. You don't have any time, and like, we are stuck. Like, we broke up so many times. We're like, both very petty. She likes to say I'm more petty than her. And I you say you're the petty queen. You I call don't yourself the petty that. queen. I, okay, it's not okay. At this point, she's like a sister because you know a sister is like you really like be disliking them sometimes. Like you still love them. You know it's not. You know it's not going anywhere. You always disagree on how we met, and but we're good. We're good. Like we're good. It's just hilarious <laughs> to see how things can really change. 
people I thought I would never talk to are talking to and people who I thought would always you know. That was the story time of how we met. We're still held it on five years later. You know, we joke about me, our auntie. That's my auntie dating to my kids one day. You need to remind that person you love them sometimes before it's too late. You know, you show them with so. action. I don't want to hear all that talk. Hmm. Show me some hmm. action. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, no. some action. Anyway, you see the abuse, so call the police. If you laughed, if you smiled, please hit that subscribe <laughs> button. And on the road to 1,000 subscribers, then check out my Smasher Pass video. The link will be in the description box below. Check out all of them. You smart. You loyal. You grateful. I appreciate that. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Go, she the girl, she the girl